Now to our special series, Diet Wars. This morning, we're tackling probiotics. Over the past five years, sales have increased by nearly 30%, making it a $30 billion a year industry worldwide. But how do they benefit your health, and how can they help you lose weight? ABC's Mara Scavacampo set out to find out. It's the tiny pill with potentially big benefits that claims to boost your immune system, improve your digestive system, and potentially help with weight loss and even treat certain diseases. So what is this powerhouse? Probiotics, which are actually a combination of live bacteria and yeast. Need help keeping your digestive balance? Try the number one probiotic. And they're flooding store shelves in all different forms, promising to revamp your health. Probiotics have shown some evidence for bloating, intestinal infections, gut irregularity, and there are other things that are being studied. When it comes to choosing a probiotic, there are tons of options. So how exactly do all of these work? Well, experts say they may create a barrier against bad bacteria in your gut, though doctors aren't exactly sure how. As for all the health claims, many of the promises from probiotics companies are still unproven. It could be for weight loss, it could be boosting your immune system, it could be not getting sick, but we're certainly not there yet. Now, researchers are studying probiotics like crazy to better understand the process and find out if they really can help with a host of health issues, including weight loss, liver disease, even type 2 diabetes, testing the full power of this pill. For Good Morning America, Mara Esquivel-Campo, ABC News, New York. All right, and here with us now is ABC's Dr. Jen Ashton. And I, we always have these amazing props mm -hmm. with you now, yes, Dr. Jen. And so you're going to explain a little bit more about what probiotics are. Right, because we hear the terms all the time and there's so much confusion. So we're not doing a gardening segment yeah. here, but I want you to think of this as your intestinal tract, small intestine and large colon. Take a deeper look inside. And what you see here, I want you to think of as the whole gut microbiome. This is the complex ecosystem. And what you can see here is this thick, lush grass. That's really the prebiotics. On top, this is the, um, the environment that we hear about, the probiotics. These are all the good bacteria. What you see here, no bueno. This is an unhealthy gut environment. Okay. And this can then lead to leaky walls of the intestines, which can have an effect on your entire body, causing illness and disease literally head to toe. Wow, okay, all right, so let's talk about what it, the impact it has on your health. Right, you let me show you. We're going really at medical school here. So we start at the head down. There is extensive research and data that links the microbiome and possibly probiotics to literally things head to toe. Starting in the brain, we call it the gut-brain axis. Mood, depression, the term wow. you're gonna be hearing about is psychobiotics. Then moving down the body, treatment for lung infections, treatment for liver disease, intestinal conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, and then certain GYN infections and obesity. Now what we know about obesity, Amy, is that the intestinal tract, the microbiome of obese individuals, very different mm. than lean individuals. We need more research. Some data has shown that taking probiotics helps weight loss. Others, not so much, okay. so the jury's still out. And we saw in Mara's piece that there's a lot of supplements and pills to take. Yeah. But you can get this through food. I always think raw food is better. So we have here prebiotics. This is what feeds the probiotics, fermented Sauerkraut. foods, sourdough bread, kefir, yogurt, the probiotics. If you don't like any of these foods, you can go for the over-the-counter supplements. The three species you want to look for on the label, lactobacillus, Bifidobacter and Saccharomyces. And if you have any questions, check with your doctor. I'm glad Dr. Jen said all of those terms. <laughs> <laughs> and I got you. And Jen will be taking all of your questions on Twitter throughout the morning. Tweet her at Dr. J Ashton. Thanks so much. You bet.